Uh, okay, this is Cat Pollution, um, talking with uh, Cyril Negro of MDI.LU. Uh, hello again, Cyril. How are you? Fine, thank you. Um, could you tell us about this vehicle? Yes, this is the One Cat. One Cat is a very economical uh, car. We want to sell this car 3,500 euros in Europe. Uh, it is a very simple car. Um, it is done very in a very special way because there is not a lot of parts to do this this car. For example, the body and the structure of the car and even the seats are made in one part only. And this is why we can reduce the cost, the production cost. This car is going to be very simple, uh, very cheap, cheap to use also. There, you can put three people in the front and an optional with two seats behind for five people. So depending on the optional you want to take. Uh, so is this sort of like the the green vehicle that was presented at the... It is the same. It is, yeah. it is quite the same. We don't few modification, but uh, it is the same car, yes. It is one cat. A very light car, 430 kilos. And um, it is very simple to use because, for example, if you want to wash it, you can wash it directly with water, no problem. It's, uh, the, the basic idea is to to do a modern version of the Meari Citroën. It was uh, built in France time ago and it was a very simple car and this is the idea. Always with glass fiber and foam, uh, the structure is the body and the, and the unique part that compose this car. Now as far as the engine goes, uh, when it's running, like with gas cars you have to do oil changes uh, every few yes. thousand kilometers. On this kind of car, if you use just mono energy car like uh, an air car, uh, you won't have to change the oil very often because the oil is not dirty. There's no combustion in a mono energy car, and if it is a dual energy, the combustion is outside of the engine. So you will change the oil a lot less often than a normal car, and the amount of oil we are having in the, in the engine is less than one liter. So that's not that much. Uh, what kind of oil uh, is it? Is it well, regular motor oil, uh, like gas car oil? It is, it is an oil we've uh, worked with Gulf to to use this this uh, this uh, oil. It is an oil very fluid, very liquid, because uh, there's no temperature inside of the engine, because the air is cooling while expanding. And um, it is an oil that uh, for the moment is used in the uh, food industry. In the food industry? Yes, when, uh, you know, a food industry, when they produce food online, yeah. the machine are using this kind of oil. So it is compatible with food industry. Is, so is uh, it like vegetable oil or canola oil? Uh, or no, something it is not like exactly that, vegetable oil, but it is uh, compatible with food industry. And we are also... Uh, mm, testing some uh, biodegradable, biodegradable oil. Oh, so, it's, so it wouldn't be the same as toxic oil no, from oil changes. No, no. So that would save a lot. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, well, this is kind of new. Uh, I don't have uh, enough information to really get a lot of um, uh, questions for you. So is there anything like extra that you think is important about this car? Well, it is important to know about uh, the range of this car. This car can be um, can have a range uh, just with mono energy around 90 km range, and with dual energy, it depends on the volume of the tank we will put for the for the fuel. But um, uh, the very important point is the fact that this car can be sold around 3,500 euros because for the moment this is not the kind of price we can find for cars. No. Unless Tata in India that has uh, and leave this Nano at 1,700 euros. But uh, this kind of car for Europe at this price is very low. It is a low-cost car that MDI has developed, and we had the possibility to develop this car because of the technique devices we've done for the body and the, and the frame. So, who would be able to buy this, and where would we be able to drive it when it's uh, in production? Uh, production somewhere uh, in the second part of next year, mm -hmm. here in Karos at the beginning, and then after step by step, when other turnkey unit will be built. Uh, then it will be uh, in another part of the world, but for the moment in Karos. And uh, who can buy this car? Every kind of people uh, like a family, because uh, it is a car that you can use uh, in town and around the town. So um, as you, there is five, you can put five people inside. So a family that already has a car, a big car, and want to drive for fast with this big car, they can buy this kind of car for going to school, for any yeah. kind of purposes. Even for in, in, in uh, um, a rural zone, we can use this car. Mm -hmm. So if a family is going to be driving in this, uh, how safe will it be? Like what, 
what safety, safety standards? Safety matters are exactly the same as the mini cat and the city cat. So uh, we have the driver in the middle, but we have a huge place here because there's not the engine in front. Here there's nothing else than something to absorb the pressure if there is a problem. Concerning the tank, it's exactly the same technology with uh, carbon fiber. So there's no problem for safety of the tank. And uh, safety devices are exactly the same as the, the mini cat. The only thing is that in Europe, uh, regulation concerning the belt, the seat belts are different. We can use some different regulation for this car because, for example, the seats behind are more than uh, 500 millimeter from the side of the car. So you can use just a normal belt, belt very simple belt. It's said to have a three-point belt. But, okay. uh, but you can answer. have three-point belts in the back if you want. It's uh, not necessary, but okay. uh, the regulation allows to have just a two-point belt. Okay. But this is just a matter of regulation. If we need a three-point belt, depending on the country, we can put one. So now, this vehicle, um, I have to be careful what questions I have to ask, but <laughs> this vehicle, can it run? Uh, is it an this operational one, vehicle? Yes, this one is running from a few days, let's say. We ran this car for the first time a few days ago, and uh, it is running with uh, an engine, which is the last development with the active chamber, so it's good efficiency. And we are still working on improving the transmission and uh, uh, suspension of this car. So this is the first test. But uh, this engine has run on the bench, it has run on another car, and uh, we are still uh, working on developing. But this is the work we have to do until the, the preparation of the production for this car. So it's... Uh, hmm. <laughs> it is a car still for engineer for the moment. Oh, yeah. But it is a car... Uh, so uh, I still can't buy it? No, not, not today. I can't uh, buy it. <laughs> ne uh, next year, in, uh, somewhere in the middle of... Uh, after the middle of next year. Okay. You can buy this car. Uh, the idea is that... Uh, we are now in MDI, uh, building other of this car because we want to, to run it more and more mm -hmm. after the bench. Test on the bench have been done, but then we have to work more and more on the car. And uh, we have to build few cars. Uh, some will go to certification uh, matter. Some will go to certification center to do the crash test, to do the belt uh, uh, strengths, to do the, the test on the uh, dashboard and few things and the uh, other car will be done for durability. So this is the work we still have to do uh, until the middle of next year. Okay, well, I'm hearing thunder, but uh, can we take a, a quick little tour, like maybe see some gauges or yes. step inside? Still, uh, still thinking that it is a working prototype, so uh, don't be worried about strange things you can see. <laughs> but uh, if you have here the idea of the seats, which is part of the structure. This and this is one part. It is one big part and the seat Seats are even part of the structure. So it's not they're not bolted in, it's one, it's one piece solid mold, piece. Molded. Really? Yes. It's not glued or anything, no? No, it's molded in one part and then uh, some parts like the the, uh, the structure for the window in front uh, is glued on the big part. Okay. Basically you have two big parts and then just doors and uh, have a look at this like a running prototype for the moment. It will be a little bit better for the production. Yeah. So it's not a mock-up, it's not... No, it's even not a presserie. It's not uh, a what? A uh, presserie. Uh, just before going in production, you build 50 cars. Or oh, okay, okay. Pilot lot. Yeah. Yes. Sorry? Pilot lot. Oh, pilot lot. Oh, okay. It's not even a pilot. What? Lot. Lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the, the parts concerning the braking system and the accelerator will be redesigned, of course, to do in production. But, uh, this I'm device, is, these small devices are just for us to control the pressure and the speed of the car. Okay. 